Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon on my Primetime Walkthrough channel, here with another Pokemon Black walkthrough. We're at the Pokemon Center in Undella Town, and we're going to explore the town and then head over to Undella Bay. So we'll just go out right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to the girl right here and she'll give us a dive. HM06 dive, and you'll need to use dive on one of your Pokemon, and then you can actually explore in Della Bay. And right up here is Cynthia's villa, and that's where you can battle Cynthia, and we're going to do that last. We'll head over here, and if, if it's summer, you can actually trade this person in here. I believe it is one of these people in here. It must be So since it's summer, you can trade a Munchlax, and a, you'd have to trade him a Cinchino, and then you would receive a Munchlax, and you only can do this during the summer season. So if it's a different season in your game, you'll just have to wait until it's summer, and then you can come here and trade and get a Munchlax. The next thing you want to do is you want to have a Pokemon battle with the Riches. So you go down here and talk to this person here. And this person we can battle. And once we defeat this person, we can actually go inside the large villa that we'll be going in next and battle other family members. We can actually battle six family members total. One each day after you bat after you defeat each one. That wasn't a smart move even surf, but that's okay. Oh, still knocked it out. So the Rich's Draco was defeated. And a good tip to use would be to use attach amulet coin to whatever Pokemon you're battling the Rich's family with because you already get a lot of prize money from defeating the Rich's and you'll get twice that amount if you have amulet coin attached to one of your Pokemon you use. So he's going to bring, bring me in the large villa there. So like I said, tomorrow come back and you can battle another family member. If you go in here, you can actually sell this person rare items for quite a bit of money. So if you had a rare item, you could um, sell it to that billionaire. And now we'll go into Cynthia's villa, villa and battle her. Now she has some tough Pokemon, so I'm going to probably have to use a lot of revives when I battle Cynthia. All of her Pokemon are level 75 or 77. But I'll take my chances, and I'll save right before I go in there. And in, in between this video and the last video, I did move... Um, stronger Pokemon into my party. They're still pretty low levels. I'll show you my team before I go in there. But I'm hoping Samurott will be able to defeat quite a few of Cynthia's Pokemon just because it's quite high a level. But there's the team I have right now. When I actually battle Elite Four, I really want to get all those Pokemon that you see up to level 60. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, but that's my goal. So. We'll go in and battle Cynthia. If that was the right house, my mistake. It's actually this house over here. Here's her villa. And there she is. I was pushing B too much, so I'm going to have to talk to her again and battle her. And you can actually battle Cynthia every day. Only during the spring, though. Once a day, every day. So Spiritomb is first, and Spiritomb doesn't have any weaknesses. So I'll just use Surf against it. It's Samurott's most powerful move.
And normal fighting and psychic type moves don't have any effect on Spirit Tomb. You'll have to remember that. This looks like Spirit Tomb is easily defeated by Samurott. So next is Electros, and Electros is, also doesn't have any weaknesses, and that's an electric type Pokemon, so I'm actually going to move in Volcarona. I'm just thinking if I should or not. Ah, I'm going to stick with Samurott and use Surf and see if I can get it knocked out in two moves, as long as Electros doesn't knock out Samurott in one move. it halfway there we go hopefully I can withstand this attack here because Samrod is there we go don't be paralyzed don't be paralyzed okay good that's okay I'll be able to attack twice and then I'll knock out Electros that was probably my biggest worry of the Pokemon I'd be facing Now you surf one more time. Unfortunately, none of Cynthia's Pokemon is actually weak to water type moves. There we go, 6,000 experience points. So Braviary is next, and it's weak to electric, ice, and rock type Pokemon. So I'm going to switch in, just for something different, I'm going to switch in to Rockion and see if it can do one move against it, even though it's an awfully low level. I'm going to try and use Rock Slide against Braviary. Hopefully, Tarakian can stand it, but if not, nope. So we'll just put back in Samurott. That's like I said, I'll have to get that, I'll have to get all these other Pokemon up to about level 60 or so and then I'll be able to be pretty dominant with my entire team because then I can move in the Pokemon that do more damage to the defending Pokemon so I'll use Surf right away just gonna use Brave Bird ooh and it knocked it out I'll have to put in I will put in, actually I'm going to put in a, eh, up in Volcarona once. I'm hoping Lucario will be next then because Lucario is actually weak to fire type moves. I'll use Heat Wave, hopefully, yep, good, Cynthia didn't use it, full restore. Hopefully Volcarona actually will evolve to 72, there we go, or level up I mean. Garchomp is next, and I'm going to move in Reshiram once. And I'm going to use Dragon Pulse against it, if I can. Oh, alright. Hopefully it gets halfway. Or more than halfway. Go, go, go. Yes. So Lucario is next. And I'm actually going to... I'm going to keep Reshiram in there and use its fire type move. Fusion Flare. Hopefully it can survive. Oh, probably not with Dragon Pulse. Oh, it did survive it. So let's see what Fusion Flare does. There we go, knocked it out. My Lodic is next. My Lodic's actually weak to grass type moves, so I'm gonna switch in Virizion. It's probably gonna be a too too low of a level, but we'll give it a go, because my Lodic could use an ice type move. If it uses Blizzard on Virizion, Virizion's knocked out quick, so quick. It's not even close.
We'll try Giga Drain. Oh, yep. There goes Vrizion. So I'll put in Cobalion, and then I'll use Revive on Samurai. What? I must have clicked on the wrong one. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh-oh. I hope I don't lose now. That'd be terrible to lose when I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to have to put in... I'll put in Reshiram, and then I'll have to use Revive on Samurai. And not I don't know what I did before. Now I'll use Revive. Revive on Samurai. And then I'll just use Slash on my Lodic. It'd be really nice to have an electric type Pokemon, then I'd be able to knock out my Lodic quite easily. Let's get a critical hit here. Nope. Should be able to knock it out here, though. Hydro Pump shouldn't be too effective. There we go. So I've defeated Cynthia. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center, heal my Pokemon, and then I'm going to teach Dive to one of my Pokemon, and then we'll head over to Wendella Bay and explore using Dive over there. So, that should end this part of the video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.